Tanya told me when we embarked on this little thing together, mostly she's embarking, I'm just along for the ride, but she said we would have fun, and this is our first event, and we are having fun, so thank you for being honest. We need honesty in a judge. Yes, we do. Um, usually I'm involved in more um, legislative races and things uh, and issues. Um, with a judge race, it's very interesting. Just one little note is that um, Tanya herself cannot solicit money. She can't ask for donations. So thank you all for donating to Friends for Tanya Butler, which is the committee, and thank you for all of the committee members who are here. Actually, uh, it's a special day for me uh, to be here. Uh, from 2009, I meet uh, Mr. Butler, and the situation we have in the Dominican community, um, the way he defended, the way he be in the uh, in the side of the community. Uh, he say a lot. He say we can work with the people who want to work for the community. And actually, when his wife Tanya uh, says she wants to run for that position, uh, I say 100% uh, we are gonna be with you. Uh, I promise to my wife uh, I'm not gonna be involved anymore in the. Uh, situation like that. But when I see good people, the community need good people to run for the position. Uh, the way years ago I meet with Judy Schwann and uh, in the church, uh, and we found out she's the person who wants to continue uh, doing good job for the community. Uh, and I appreciate it uh, to support people like you. And Tanya, uh, we hope you win and you doing, continue doing the good job for the community. God bless you. you. God bless everybody. You know, introducing a person, particularly a candidate, is a, is a very important job. It really is. Because you know, particularly in a position like magisterial district justice, it's very, very important that we get a person of integrity with a great legal background, if possible. A person who's been involved in the community and knows it. This is a position where that maybe matters more than any other. It just can't be somebody who flies in and decides they want to run. It needs to be a person who understands the community and is willing to do what it takes to serve her community. And that's why I'm standing in front of you today to introduce you to a person that I think will really serve our community, Tanya Butler. My interest in law started 30 years ago at the age of 15. I was working in a McDonald's in Philadelphia, around the corner from my house. And I used to work the closing shift, so it was 6 p.m. to midnight. And when one of my coworkers went to take the trash out, he was followed in by three guys with two sawed-off shotguns. They came in with the guns and they ordered us to get the money out of the cash registers. And when they realized that there wasn't a lot of money in the cash registers because we were closed, um, they wanted the manager to open up the safe. And she refused to open up the safe and they beat her. And then she opened up the safe, they took the money, and then they left. Prior to that experience, I never wanted to watch the news. I was afraid of that first part of the news when they talk about uh, who committed what crime and what happened. I would always come in on the news or the sports. After that experience, that's all I wanted to do was watch the news. I watched the 5 o'clock news, the 5.30 news, the 6 o'clock news, 6.30 news. I wanted to find out what was going on in the world around me. We've all had similar experiences. We've seen where system, or, well let me back up. It took a lot, but that case was finally resolved. This justice system had pretty much failed me. We've all had similar experiences where we've seen when systems, we've seen system failures, whether it be the criminal justice system, whether it be the school system, whether it be the political system. But you guys have still made a difference and you've worked to improve the city of Reading. I've worked with you all with basketball, as Senator Schwank has said. I've worked with you all with the Reading School District. I've worked with many of you in my current job at the city of Reading. 
I've also worked with many of you in the neighborhood associations, one College Heights or Northmont or Center Park, and I've seen the work that you've done. And that has inspired me to want to do more and to help out in a new and a unique way. I'm running for a magisterial district judge because I want to use my legal background and my experience to work in the community, to serve the community with compassion. And also, I want to ensure a fair and a transparent legal system.